Okay. Now, from a uh, 50 and up to sweating it out at the end, what was your vantage point, I guess, on the very last play when you guys had to dig in and get a defensive stop? Well, I guess the two last plays on Deshaun's hit where you guys collapsed and then... Did he, he miss that one? Would, yeah, he, yeah, you guys collapsed on him. On yeah. The uh, and then you forced the miss three. Yeah, I think... Uh, well, how many points did I have that second half? What, 44? I said, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I think the second half, the whole second half, we were there for each other. Um, we made a couple adjustments on a couple guys, and we were able to execute that and uh, slow them down just a little bit. We were down, what, 15 at one point. You know, they were they were hot. This team plays stream, extremely hard against us. Um, it's always a tough matchup against them. Young athletic team. Um, but I think we did a solid job there just – Forcing DeJounte to shoot over a hand. He's such a long athletic player. Um, that that's about all you can do with him. So I think we did a good job and also rebounded well afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. This is obviously a tense stretch. As you go back through this stretch, is there something that you can point to and say, okay, this clicked more than something else earlier in the season? No, it's not one thing. I mean, it's a... Uh, First off, it's a group effort. Everybody has to bring it in order for us to be a good team. I think um, we got to execute on the small parts of the game, the detailed parts of the game. That's going to help us get better, boxing out, rebounding, keeping the ball in our hands, not filing, shooters, stuff like that. Um, so it's a it's a lot of stuff we went over the last couple of weeks, last few weeks, in, uh, in order for us to kind of figure out what type of team we want to be. You know, So we're moving the ball. we uh covering for each other on the offense. I mean, the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, we want to guard one on one, um, not rely too much on help, stuff like that. You know, so we've been preaching a lot of different things. You know, Jock is doing a good job of keeping up, keeping us aware of what we need to do to get better in game, right after the game. You know, in practice. You know, so he's staying on us, and that's always good for a team. The other night we were talking about focus, and you were saying you felt like everybody had always been focused. Tonight, Jock mentioned the word belief. How does that get strengthened within a team? over a stretch of time, and, and you guys have the success that you're having. Yeah, I mean, when you follow the game plan, it works, you know. Um, start believing more and more in what we're doing every day. Uh, I felt like we didn't have an identity to start the season, and then we started to figure it out as, as these last few weeks, this last month or so, starting to move. We're figuring out our identity as a team, and, and you know, you walk into every game believing that, all right, if we stick to this template and to this – um, structure that we have, we'll be fine regardless of what goes on in the game. Up and downs, you know, get down big, get up big and, and lose the lead, I think. Just knowing what we want to do every time we step on the floor keeps our mind at ease and we'll have that belief in, you know, whatever Jock tells us. You talked about doing the little things throughout the course of the game. A, were you more fired up about your block there than you were about any basket? Uh, I was more fired up, up about the uh, – I was able to save it. Yeah, the ball and then – Yeah, the block was cool, but it, being able to, to still recover the ball and get us a possession, I think that was a – that was a fun part. I don't get a lot of opportunities to, like, make that, you know, d you know a dirty play like that, you know. So it felt good to get get my hands dirty a bit, get on the floor, get a couple floor burns, you know. So um, it ignites our team. That just – deflates their team a little bit. It just it does a lot. So um, as much as I can, try to just make plays defensively. Uh, you know, I try to try to do it and change momentum a bit. And B, when Jacques is always professing to the team, you need to rebound. Guys need to come back in. Guys need to help Nick. When you have a season high boards like you did, some of them in traffic, does that make it easier for Jacques to kind of profess that message? When he puts on film, he says, our best player's doing this. The rest of you don't do this. Yeah, uh, he doesn't put it like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, he doesn't put it like that because it's like we all supposed to be on the same level, uh, you know, as far as, like, teaching. Like, he want, we all got to box out. We all got to come in there and grab rebounds. It's just not about, like, look, KD's doing it, so you got to do it. It's just like, shit, Ed's doing it, so okay, you got to do it. Or Clack's doing it, so okay, you got to be better at it. So I think we hold each other accountable, and he uses everybody to send a message to everyone. You know what I mean? We talked about the box out thing a month ago. He told Cam, well, Cam, you – 
now that you're good at box out, you can tell the other guys who aren't as good, you know, what to do, you know. So it's it's good that we police ourselves and our coaches policing ourselves. But I wouldn't say that he's, you know, I'm, I, I'm saying it like that just puts me on a different level than my teammates. I like to be on the even playing field. Uh, KD, um, it's a strange question to ask for a team on a 10 game winning streak, but. You feel your best basketball is ahead of you because you've got players coming back from injury? And yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you want to have your best basketball ahead of you. We don't want to be peaking at this point. I think we see some stuff that we can obviously get better at. We see some stuff that work, but um, it comes down to the individual and, you know, how bad you want it and how much you're going to bring to the team, you know, because it's all about guarding your man one-on-one and also making shots, you know, and that's basketball, you know, so... Um, we got a nice template, like I said, a nice structure, but each individual got to keep bringing it every day and follow the game plan. And I feel like all of us can keep getting better individually and bring that to the group as a collective.